hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to do something that i haven't actually done in quite a long time and that's answering you guys's questions that you want to ask me which are uncomfortable questions So I feel like there's a lot that's changed in the past few months now and I feel like a little Q&A is quite a good start. I'm heavily feeling a little bit bloody right now because, ugh. But let's answer some questions whilst we pack. So I'm going on tour. I'm going on my first tour of the year. I've got one more after this I'm really excited for, um, which you guys can actually get tickets for, which is I'm going to Dublin. Glasgow, Manchester, and also London with Tallulah, Grace Conda, Naya Temple, and also Kaylin. Um, so you guys can get your tickets for that now, I think. Girl Squad is going on tour. I'm really, really excited. I've just grabbed myself some water to get myself going, but I'm going to answer some questions with you guys. Someone said, not really an uncomfortable question, but just asking, do you have a boyfriend? No, I feel like there's like, I had so many people recently be like, oh my God. Are you doing so and so? No, I can confirm. I'm very single. Like I'm actually I'm not lying when I say that for once. No, I'm joking. I feel like once I did say I'm really single and then say I had a boyfriend the week after. But that's just so funny. I'm far from that right now. So I'm not lying when I say it. I am definitely single. I wouldn't say I'm like ready to mingle. I'm not really in the mood for a boyfriend. I've got too much going on in my life. So let's clear up the assumptions. That's what's going on. Um, someone said your most embarrassing period story. Do you know what? Like, I don't personally think we should associate the word embarrassing ever with periods because nothing is embarrassing. Everything is so normal to like, you know, like experience periods that leak in. That's not embarrassing. None of these stories that I've got, I could sit here and be like, oh my God, I was so embarrassed because it's not embarrassing. It's normal. I would say though, I don't like being in your periods. We need to do number two, because Jesus Christ. Something about a period poo is disgraceful, and I hate it. And that would be my worst story, is the amount of times it makes food make me feel ill. But yeah, no, that was very TMI, sorry about that. But that would probably be my only ick about periods, and my most embarrassing part about them is the period poos. I hate them. Um, someone asked, are you friends with any of your old bullies? I don't personally think I've ever become friends with anyone that like, bullied me as such um there's definitely like a few people that bullied me that i've actually seen recently that have actually apologized for their actions and said like they are actually sorry um therefore i wouldn't say we're friends because i would never consider them friends of mine if you bully someone once you're a bully and personally for me i don't want to be associated with that so i would never say that we're friends but i'm definitely more civil with people that i never expected to be civil with okay someone asked Underage drinking at parties and when to, and how to tell your parents. So like my parents have always been like, if you're open and honest with us, obviously I feel like there's like a whole stigma of like, oh my God, you're underage, whatever. Um, and in no way am I trying to promote underage drinking. But personally for me, like I am at that age now where like every party we go to, there is just alcohol everywhere supplied um, by people. And I think it's really hard at our age to kind of navigate like, what is your limit? Yeah, no, I do think like with me and my parents like if i'm open and honest and say like look i'm gonna have a can of cocktail i always find people try to catch me out all the time for drinking like all the time or for vaping and it's so funny because like i will go to parties i will go i've had it in nando's once but girls have been filming me like this going do you want some of my vape do you want some of my vape get it all the time and i think it's really funny because like obviously drinking side of it i'm on like this really hardcore thing so i'm not even having juice anymore i'm literally on water and protein shakes so in spain people were like oh are you drinking and so i was like no i'm actually not but people do love to kind of gasp at the fact that like i'm a normal teenager and like is very normal in the uk not so much probably in other countries i'm not too sure i know spain it's very normal at a young age to do things like that um because my friends all grew up in spain i'm really really good friends with all of them and they literally find it so normal um and i think it's still normal in uk but like obviously you just have to be very very careful you're only young your body can't take the amount of alcohol an adult can and obviously i'm not promoting it at all because you know you shouldn't but if you do speak to parents and they like allow you to have a few drinks at a party and stuff like that like obviously just don't take the mic and 
thankfully for me, my parents trust me that I'm not gonna go get slaughtered and stuff. Someone asked, how do you handle being an influencer at such a young age? So I always like steer away from the word influencer and people always go, oh, why are you saying that? Cause you're CR. But I think it's like a very scary word, right? Because I think I don't want to have the, um, I don't really know what the word is, but I don't want to have the power to influence people with all my actions because I'm still young myself and I'm going to make mistakes. I don't want people to ever feel like I've been some influencer. I like to have a content creator. And like, I'm so grateful that I have so many cute young girls that like look up to me and are always saying, oh, I mean, like, I just love what you're doing and stuff. And like, I'm so grateful for them. But I would hate to be considered an influencer just because obviously I understand that's like a very big title to be held. Um, I think it's good, but it also comes with its like pros and cons, like the pressure side of it. Um, at the moment, like, especially like everyone's just in such a lost moment. Like, there's just no really good trends to do. Um, and I feel like in parts and times like this, like all my creative friends and me, we were all just like, what do we do? Like, why is it being this weird? So I think for me, like the only pressures I really deal with is like fake friends a lot of the time. I deal with a lot of that kind of side of it. And also I just think the pressure of like not knowing when to stop, like I burn myself out so much because I just take on so much work and then can't handle it. Um, like tonight I was meant to be at an event at like six o'clock. And I texted my manager and was like, I just need to go home and I need to pack and I need to get everything sorted. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. But I think it's definitely hard to like know when to stop, but I'm doing a good job at it. Someone said, how do you ask someone for help when struggling? And I think that's like a really good starting factor. Like you know you need the help and you know you can acknowledge the fact that you're struggling. I think a lot of girls and boys try and like, I mean, I'm saying this because I know boys go through it too a lot of the time too. But I think a lot of boys and girls, like, they can't accept the fact that they need help. So instead, they kind of, like, try do everything they can to kind of convince themselves that they're okay and they're going to get through it. Um, but if you're acknowledging yourself that, like, you need help, I think that's a really, really good starting factor to have like well done for actually acknowledging that and i'm really proud of you for getting through that first step because actually knowing your worth and that you need it is definitely important things that i do is just speak to friends speak to family and like you kind of get the hint of what you're needing if you're still in school or college like they should have someone that you can talk to and as much as i know like i remember i had this woman that was like a therapist at school and like she wasn't the best but just getting it out always helped me so i definitely think like if you're kind of going through it and you're like oh like you know i don't really know what to do at the moment then i definitely think just give it a go like give it a go talking to someone about it because there is no shame in needing a bit of help sometimes. And I think there's so much stigma around like, oh, if you have therapy, it's because you've got mental health problems. I think it's really important that you get the help you deserve by like, you know, speaking to people and maybe someone around you might say, oh, actually, I know a really, really good life coach that could just speak to you for a few weeks uh, to get you back on track. Or, you know, like if it's more serious help than doctors, hospital and things like that. So I think you're acknowledging the fact that you need it. So now go and get that by speaking to those around you and they can help you out. Like just hint and hint and hint until you feel the courage and build the confidence to just say, look, I'm really struggling at the moment. Like, can you help me? Oh my God, look, my dog. I can't even show you guys what my dog is like laying so cutely right now. Someone said your least favorite influencer. Um, you know what? I wouldn't even say I don't have, like I, I have a least favorite. Um, I think there's one in particular that like the first time I met her, she was so lovely. She's like 25, like she's not even my age. The first time I met her, she was so nice to me and like really, really kind and really sweet. And, like I thought she was a really nice girl. And then I've texted her a few times since and she's been so cold to me and I'm just a bit like, hello, like why are you being like that? And I feel like her personality has just completely changed when she realizes I'm not gonna benefit her how she expected me to, I don't know. I just kind of get that vibe from her. So I'd say there's like one in particular, but I'm not gonna sit here naming names and slating people. Someone said, are you talking to anyone romantically right now? I feel like I'm in kind of a peaceful stage in my life. Like. There are definitely people that I'm talking to and getting to know, but like I'm not taking it seriously and I don't think it needs to be anything serious for right now. Like obviously it's okay to like, you know, text and get to know people, but I'm not trying to lead anyone on. I feel like we're all kind of on, like all, oh, I'm saying that like it's tons of people, but like I feel like he knows where I stand and I know where he stands kind of thing. Someone said most awkward encounter with a boy. I don't think I've got anything in particular that I've been like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I'm trying to think. 
I genuinely don't think there is anything in particular that I'd be like, oh my god, that was such an awkward encounter. I have to think about that. I'm not sure. Someone asked, did you ever, or do you ever get unwanted attention from men? If so, how do you deal and react to it? I feel like there's some really pervy people in the world, and unfortunately, as a woman, I've had to experience it firsthand, and there has been experiences where I've had like really, really really horrible encounters with like a man i remember once and i literally shouted at him because he was scaring me so much and like he was trying to climb over something to get to me and i shouted at him and it's not the best thing to do like i don't recommend doing that at all um so i feel like that was probably where i draw the line of like i regret doing something that's probably something i regret doing um but i would say like react and deal with it like honestly if it's something that's concerning you and it's like an ongoing thing speak to someone about it someone asked how do you deal with hate i sometimes i scroll across like hate videos about me and it could be like anything it could be from like i remember there was one where it was like someone was saying oh she's starting to look really weird because i tested out this new makeup look and didn't really look the best on me and when i first got this camera it comes with a beauty filter i didn't realize and i took the pictures and i was like why do i look like that smooth and that weird and it was too late to get the pictures again because i already took my makeup off oh talking to the camera clearly she doesn't want to focus on me um and like i did sit there reading the comments and get into a little bit of a loophole and so many of you guys are so nice and so good at defending me but i think i definitely struggle more now i'm getting a bit older and like i'm a lot more like i'm in a vulnerable position because i'm not an adult yet i'm still a kid and like i see these hate comments and sometimes they can really like just make me feel sick like it's so weird like when i see videos sometimes of people like clipping things and trying to make me look like a bad person i just not interested in it now because it makes me feel so ill like i won't be able to eat for a while like i just feel so like i don't know it's just it's such a weird feeling and i don't like i don't like it at all like i hate it um but i know you know unfortunately it's what comes with my job and i have to deal with it sometimes but i just think it's really difficult when like people just pinpoint or like you know like taking little things and running with it i get that quite a lot so so that's probably the hardest part someone asked what are your afid struggles so for me texture of food really really is difficult for me like i find it really hard to eat different textures and like if there's like a lump in my mash i won't eat the whole mash because i'm scared of it like it's weird uh color if there's like seeds and strawberries i don't eat strawberries because of the seeds like it's weird like little things like that i can't deal with i hate the texture of a fizzy drink in my mouth i know some texture is more just like a fill but i hate fizzy drinks can't deal with them um so arvid for me is more like that if anything Someone's asked like tips for losing your V card. Um, I just think like, just like do it with the right part. Like don't rush into anything. Like so many of my friends um, have like told me stories and stuff of how like they did it when they was a little bit too young and they regret it so much. And I think like if I could give advice to anyone, like don't do it until you're comfortable and ready. Like you don't have to rush and have to do it when you turn 16 because you're legal or anything like that. Like don't make it like, oh, I have to lose my V card at this age it happens when it happens it happens when you're comfortable and you should never force yourself into things or let someone else force you into things that you're not 100 percent sure on um because it is a big thing and i wouldn't just rush into it with anyone that i don't feel comfortable with so i think that's definitely like the one thing that i'd give for anyone is like when the time's right and it feels right and you're ready that's when you should do it not just because maybe you've had a little bit too much drink at a party and then a boy's forcing it on you and you don't know how to say no like that is the worst thing ever never ever ever feel like you have to do anything you don't want to do that would be my advice um someone said they were kind of the same questions cope with your first breakup i think for me my first breakup was kind of not what anyone expected like i was obviously very young and i was in the social media world and the first thing that went through my head when we ended things was how am i going to tell tiktok that's the worst thing ever why was my brain at the age of 14 turning 15 about to end my two and a half year relationship with this boy thinking what am i going to tell tiktok i'll never know i think i was just so worried about what people were going to say online and things like that um so i'd say for my first breakup it's probably not like a normal breakup like anyone else that's like my friends and stuff because they can just kind of move on with their life more than i was surrounded by it i had to 
repost to tell everyone else about it that's not in my life that's on social media i think like the one thing that i regret the most was kind of like trying to move on to someone else so quickly like i was trying to chat to tons of different boys and like i remember at school like oh i've got a new crush today oh i've got another one like you don't have to rush into anything don't feel like just because you broke up with someone you need to chat to someone else straight away like i wish i gave myself more time because i distracted myself i was like you know like flirting with other boys and then it all hit me one day and I was like, oh my God, and it all come crumbling down. Bumps down the line after I distracted myself for a while. And I was really, really sad about it. And I, it hit me way after. It probably hit him because he had the time to process what happened, go through it. And then he ended up getting in a relationship that they're doing really well and I'm really happy for him. But I do think that's one thing I really regret is like rushing into other, not because in other relationships, but like other talking stages and like, you know, I don't know. I think that's pretty what I regret the most. Um, but I feel like I've gave you guys quite a lot of good, deep answers. I hope that helped. Um, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what videos you want to see in the future. If you want to see my tour, let me know. I can always film the tour for you guys. I think it'll be a good one. But I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.